It's Bullseye. I'm Jesse Thorne. Chris Fairbanks is one of my favorite stand-up comics. He's been on Conan O'Brien, Jimmy Kimmel, Comedy Central. His stand-up is really unique, kind of improvised. He basically <laughs> he basically blunders up to the microphone and barely makes his way through any of his jokes. Anyway, a treat for you. About a year ago, we were lucky enough to host Chris at Max FunCon last year. It's our annual gathering in the woods organized by MaximumFun.org, uh, my company who make this show. Uh, Max FunCon's coming up it's just around the corner, so we thought we'd honor it with a little bit from our friend Chris Fairbanks. Someone made me a, was that a remote control helicopter? Someone <laughs> made me breakfast in bed recently, and it's, I, it was my first time, and it's common, it's pretty common, right? Breakfast in bed. But it's weird if you think about it. Breakfast in bed is like, it's like you're saying, uh, well, it's Sunday. Uh, I think today I want to pretend like I'm dying in the hospital. <laughs> Bed, of course a bedpan. It's Father's Day, isn't it? Get in here, you little rugrats. Where are you? I can't see you on account of the blurry vision. See, he is dying, and that's a confusing joke. <laughs> I don't understand uh, birds as a pet. That's weird, right? It's like, uh, hey, bird, how about I buy you and put you in a cage? You're miserable. I watch your whole life. What do you say? All right. <laughs> I don't know. No, nah, maybe like a, I guess if you get like a cockatoo or a, or a parrot that'd be because you can teach them to say stuff it's kind of fun i don't know if i had a parrot i'd teach him to say uh help i used to be a man and a curse was put on me i missed my wife and then be like, oh cool bird yeah i know it's pretty cool this isn't all i do comedy i used to do a lot of art like uh illustration and uh, i do some voiceover and some getting into computer animation actually have you seen that it's a commercial for lamasil uh, where a tiny monster opens a toenail like a hatch door and climbs into the fungus-filled environment that is the toe. That was some of my work. You see, I also do some foot modeling. I, nah, I don't know. It's all right. It's not the best. Now nah, my, no, my, my nose, my, my nose tails. My nose tails are dope. My toenails are also, now nah, they were awful. Looks like ginger root down there, but let's talk about these guys. That's kind of... Funny. I uh, older older ladies are always uh, older ladies are always going, ooh, nice nails, and I'm like, why are all these old ladies trying to f me? And I I think that uh, they are they are right. They're very shiny. Uh, they're white at the base and white at the tip. That's what someone wants. I don't even ask for it. I just get it. And they're they're always they're always looking. And here's the funny thing. I don't clip them. I just I'm nervous, kind of. You might if you know me. I and I bite my nail all the time, but I'm good at it. And I'm it's like pull pop perfect edge. A lot of amateurs are like, taxes. And then it's like, serrated knife, get back under a bridge or something mean. Uh, but mine are in, so I think I want to open a salon where women just sit in chairs and I come up and I chew their nails for them. Yeah, I knew you. Yeah, you guys got. A friend of mine, <laughs> a friend of mine say, uh, Scientist, he's always been real smart. He's an engineer and now he's a scientist. And he told me, uh, he lives in North Carolina now. He said that the Appalachian Mountain Range, uh, did I get, oh, just lighting changed. It just means the world will end someday. I, uh, he told me the Appalachian Mountains are getting higher and higher each year by a foot. Isn't that a lot? Because of tectonic plates or something. I don't know, I didn't listen, but it's, it <laughs> Continue. I'm like, for how, just now? He's like, forever. And so, you guys, I don't think I'm being a bigot when I say the South will rise again. <laughs> Thank you. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I don't know why you, some of you got weird. When I was young, I liked animals. My mom was vegan, and uh, I, I've always liked animals. And um, when I was younger, I tried to get a job at PETA, and I didn't get it. I don't know why. I think I was nervous, maybe? I don't know what I, I think... Maybe it was a mistake having brought my lucky rabbit's foot. <laughs> I do a lot of character, uh, char character, I do a lot of characters, uh, character work for charity. You know, there's chids out there. Some of them are just children in their whole lives. They never see a good character. That's why I started my character, charity characters for children and chids for Christmas, Christmas time. We do it. Merry Christmas. Anyway, here's one of the characters, and I hope you enjoy it. Say goodbye to me for a minute.
One door closes. <laughs> Another one opens. Thanks. Uh, that's my impression of a guy trying to stay positive while living in a haunted house. <laughs> Ran out of breath. <sighs> All right. I think that's... Uh, did you guys like dinner? <laughs> this is my biggest laugh. I, uh, that's good. I got fajitas the other... I went to a Mexican place. I always want fajitas, and then I, then you, I always forget that they're going to be obnoxiously sizzling. That's always... It's like, oh, I'll have the fajitas. Oh. <laughs> and then they come out. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, And you have to, like, wave your hand and owner. Everyone's like, look, who got the fajitas? Is George Clooney here? <laughs> it's like, don't touch it. It's hot. If you tell me the plate's hot, I'm going to rest my face on it. Is it really? You were right, Beans. You were right, Beans. Get my shirts afterwards. You were right, comma, Beans. Exclamation point. Fair ranks. Hey, what's, uh, hey, is Jesse here? No, he went to bed. <laughs> hey, what's with all these owls graduating from something? I mean, every time I see an owl graduation hat, I mean, I know you're a wise bird, Mr. Al, but I haven't seen you on campus all year. <laughs> Here you are now at the commencement ceremony with your tassel to the right. What's your major, Owl, if you're so damn smart? Well, I first got interested in anatomy when I puked up my first intact mouse skeleton, but then I moved on to statistics. You see, I started monitoring my Tootsie Pop licks. Okay, I've heard enough. You're not bad, Owl. See you in the quad for some ultimate frisbee. I mean, that kind of tapers off there, huh? <sighs> yeah, I should probably end on that because that was dope. All right, I'm all done. Thanks, you guys. Chris Fairbanks, live at Max FunCon last year. Uh, one of the best in the business. He co-hosts the podcast, Do You Want to Ride? with uh, the great Karen Kilgariff. Regular Max FunCon is already sold out. It's uh, in about... I guess a week from now. Wow. Max FunCon East is coming up Labor Day weekend in the Poconos on the East Coast. Tickets are still available to that. Uh, you can find tickets and more information at maxfuncon.com. Chris Fairbanks also has a great album called Fairbanks! Exclamation mark. It was released in 2010, but classic. Evergreen, as we call it. 